it, I hate doing this essay. What was the prompt again? Describe in at least 10 pages the role of quantum mechanics in fairy tales. <laughs> Six point font, three quarters spacing? What? <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, but Top Dog is so far away. Ah, oh, this sucks. This essay sucks. This professor sucks. My life sucks. Stanford sucks. <laughs> I didn't want to come here. My parents pushed me into college. I didn't want to live here. My friends pushed me into that too. I really have no control over my own life. Oh. <laughs> me, 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 and they all lived happily ever after. No one actually lives happily ever after. <laughs> what is this bread doing on my table? <laughs> I should probably eat it. <laughs> oh, that tastes a little funny. Oh. <laughs> move props, move props, clean up, throw trash on the ground. Move props, move props, clean up, throw trash on the ground. Move props, shoo, move props. shoo, shoo. What a mess! Oh, oh! Oh, who's that? Oh, oh, I know what to do. I'll call my animal friends for help. Ah! <laughs> Better try that again. Ah! Hmm. They're all on holiday. I'm the temporary animal friend. <laughs> but I can be your friend. Oh, well, I need your help. There's a strange person shaped thing over there. It's a person. <laughs> Should I wake him or hit him with a shovel? Shovel? Whoop! <laughs> Who are you guys? Where am I? How did I get here? Uh, well, I'm Cinderella, and this is my temporary. Maybe permanent? Animal friend. Who are you? <laughs> my name's Jack. Oh, oh, you, you must, must be our, our new narrator. narrator. The what? Our new narrator. We need you to tell our stories. All our last ones kept getting eaten by the giant. <laughs> Wait, are you saying I might get eaten? Probably. But I'll remember you. I remember them all. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sure you'll be fine. We just need you to tell our stories. So for your first one... Oh, why do all the narrators have to be named Jack anyways? Oh, I've never thought of that. All our narrators have been named Jack. <laughs> yeah, I stopped questioning after the seventh one. He smelled of pine trees and lilacs. Will you get over it? We were friends! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, ever since the last narrator left, our world has been in complete disarray. But now that you're here, our stories what? can finally be told properly. What? If I... it helps, you can tell my story first. All you have to do is read that book over there. <sighs> uh... Once upon a time, there was a girl named Cinderella. Raised in a house with a wicked stepmother, she slaved away all day. Oh my, I must finish cleaning before stepmother comes home. The prince just announced that there will be a ball, and everyone's invited, except for you. <laughs> Importantly, if you guess my name correctly, I will tell you a wonderful story that I made up. 
So guess wisely. <laughs> <laughs> I remember how this story goes. Cinderella thought to herself, and guessed that his name was... Larry! <laughs> no! Why don't you take another guess? Constantine! No! What kind of name is that? <laughs> but I suppose I will tell you my wonderful story anyways. Oh, but I don't... <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a tortoise and a rabbit. <laughs> tortoise, you're so slow, I could probably grow hair faster than you would. Oh, yeah? <laughs> They decided to face. The tortoise and the rabbit lined up at the starting line. On your mark, get set, go! Or, no! So the tortoise starts to run. And the rabbit starts to grow his hair. Tortoise went, rabbit goes there. 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 Okay, 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 I get it. Uh, for my final guess, your name is. Ruh. But don't let him get away with anything else. He's always wanted to be a narrator, but his storytelling is a bit odd. <laughs> well, are there any other characters I should watch out for? <laughs> is this a new narrator? Jack, is this my cue? When do I get to tell my story? Her. <laughs> I found a kernel of wheat. Now who will help me plant the wheat? Will you help me plant the wheat? going to the ball again. Please do a better job on the next story. Oh. Oh. Man, this is hard. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty. I actually know this one. Move chairs. Move chairs. Move chairs. To make a bed. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Sleeping Beauty. She pricked her thumb on a poison spindle and fell into a deep sleep. Only the kiss of her true love could wake her from her nightmares. What do we have here? Another princess to kiss, huh? <laughs> you're not a true love, you're a frog! I am not a frog, but a really, really, really handsome prince. The most handsome in all the land. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure that's a different story. Awaken, my lovely. Oh my! Who awakens me from my beauty sleep? Oh, oh. It is I. <laughs> it is I, your soon to be husband. <laughs> but you're a frog. Aren't I supposed to marry a really handsome prince? Well, according to the story, you're supposed to marry whoever kisses and wakes you up, and that would be moi. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. <coughs> yeah, that's not how the story goes at all. Just then, Sleeping Beauty's true prince came to her rescue on a valiant steed. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Well, finally, after all these decades, I'm finally up here. <laughs> My prince? Why are you so old? It took me a while to get past the thorns, but I'm still ready to get married! I don't want to! Excuse you, she's not going to marry you, she's going to marry moi. Ha! You? You're just a frog! I am not a frog, but a really, really handsome prince. The most handsome in all the land. I am a... I'm Prince Philip! The most renowned sword fighter in all Land, and me and Sleeping Beauty have been betrothed since we were little. <laughs> well, I was the one to kiss and wake her up. These guys are dicks. <laughs> Sleeping Beauty decided she was better off without either of them and went to pursue the dreams she'd had when she was little. Who needs these guys anyways? I'm off to pursue my true dreams of becoming a mattress tester. <laughs> <laughs> Preposterous! I challenge you to a duel! Challenge accepted! <laughs> but I do not have a sword! Ah. Oh, I don't have mine either. I must have left it down below. <laughs> I suppose we let the princess decide who she would like to marry. Sound idea! I have no doubt that she will choose. Wait, where'd she go? <laughs> After Sleeping Beauty had left, 
The two princes decided not to bother her anymore. Uh, I suppose Sleeping Beauty is her own woman and we should not force her to marry either of us. <laughs> Because I have to find more princes to kiss before the act is over. <laughs> wow, that actually worked. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, hey, 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 frog prince, frog prince, stay here. I'm going to tell your story now. The frog prince. Once upon a time, there lived a cursed frog on a lily pad. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Day and night, he sat and waited for a beautiful princess to come and lift the curse from him. Ooh la la, me like you. <laughs> Cinderella? What are you doing here again? I'm filling in for the princess. We haven't seen her since the last narrator sent her to the desert instead. <laughs> What a lovely day. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, princess. I have a request. Could you help me out? Oh, oh my, you startled me. But what could I possibly help you with? You see, I am not a frog, but a prince. A, a wicked witch put a wicked spell on my not-so-wicked self, turning me... Oh my god, the story is so boring. <laughs> and you see, I know what will make it better. Only the kiss of a princess such as yourself can break the spell. Oh, well, I've always wanted a prince. Mm. Not you. I am just a talking frog. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my prince? <laughs> this is the second story of mine you ruined. I 